Okay, so first of all, let's try to solve basic problems regarding this, and then we'll solve what problems. Okay, so let's start with basic problem. Evaluate the reciprocal functions. Evaluate the reciprocal functions. So if you take a look at if you take a look at the reference page, you will see where it says reciprocal identity. So it's the same thing with the reciprocal functions. All right. So now here's typically how the question is framed. Okay, here's how the question is framed. Question. Evaluate the second, cosecant, and contangent of 135 degrees. Evaluate. I'm going to write it and then read it. Okay, so now if you take a look at your reference paper, paper, you will see that circle, the only circle that is written there. Look at the only circle that is written there. Look at the angle. Look at the angle 135 degree. So what are the coordinates? So you are going to we are going to be going back and forth to the reference paper, you know. So I need you to open that screen and put it, you know, uh, as a, as one of the uh, open browsers. So what are the coordinates of uh, angle 35, 135 degree? Look at the reference paper I just gave you. Hello. Negative square root two over two. And then is that the only one? That's the S component. They have about the Y component. Square root of two of it. Exactly. Okay. So, um, so what you need to do would be to uh, sketch your sketch your angle. This is your angle, one thirty five degree, and this is the coordinates. And this on this coordinates you see negative. Um, Square root of two over two comma. The other one is positive square root of two over two. That's the coordinate. All right. So now, what do we do with this number? So now, if you drop down, if you drop down your or, you know, our altitude to create 90 degree here, you will discover that, you will discover that the X axis, the X axis from here, I hope everybody is seeing me, from here to here is the negative square root of two over two. And then the Y axis, which you see here, is the one that is positive what? Square root of two over two. And then the unit circle, it's a unit circle. So the hypotenuse is unit circle, which is one. All right. So now based on this, this is the angle that you are now considering, which is the reference angle, the reference angle theta prime. So you can see that uh, cos of theta prime is equal to, um, what is, Okay, let's first of all re recall our, our um, let's first of all recall our basic trig ratio, which is the soccer tour. So, you know, your soccer tour. So, co uh, cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So, in this case, the adjacent is what? The adjacent is, look at the adjacent. The opposite is negative. Negative, I'm sorry. The opposite is um, positive square root of two over two. The adjacent is negative square root of two over two. And the hypotenuse is one. Okay, so what do you do about it? So the adjacent is what? Negative square root of two over two. The hypotenuse is one. So any number divided by one is one. So that we know that cos theta is equal to negative square root of two over two. All right. But on the other hand, they are talking about reciprocal functions. So cosec, cosecant, 
cosecan, um, which is, um, I'm sorry, not cosecan, the secant itself. The second is equal to one over, over cos. So now we bring back this and substitute here. So second will give us one divided by a negative square root of two over two. And so that should give us, we use keep, change, flip. We, we keep this, we change this, and we flip this. So we keep one, multiply by, then we flip the other one, which is uh, two over uh, square root of two, and that's negative right there. So our solution for second is going to give us, second will give us, negative two divided by square root of two. Negative two divided by square root of two. That's the second. And always remember that whenever you have, whenever you have a, a radical on the denominator, you must rationalize the denominator. You must rationalize, so this is still negative. So whenever you have a radical on the denominator, you must rationalize the denominator. So the question becomes, how do you rationalize the denominator? So let's do that very quickly. So who wants to help us? How do you rationalize the denominator? I need help. Okay, so you multiply, I'll put it as a statement, rationalize the denominator. Okay, in order for us to do that, we are going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the denominator. So what that means is we just say that sec theta will give us negative two times square root of two divided by square root of two times square root of two, which gives us negative two square root of two over uh, negative uh, square root of two times square root of two gives you square root of four. And square root of four is two, which is over two. And then you cross out. And then your final answer for second is going to be, second theta is going to be um, negative square root of two. Final answer. All right. So this is how to do it. This is uh, the process of um, finding the second. Now, one more thing, and this is what we are going to end today. Now, Look at your trig identity, the one we just derived earlier on, and which is also on, which is also uh, uh, in your, which is also in your um, reference sheet. So one of those trig ratios says that one, one plus tangent square theta is equal to second square theta. Second square theta. That's one of the formulas you see there. So what this thing means is, since we now have second square theta, no, since we now have a, 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 um, sec, a second theta, we can just plug it in here. So um, we can say that one plus tangent square theta is equal to um, negative square root of two whole squared. Okay, so now let's continue evaluating. So now square root of uh, two whole squared will be negative times negative is positive. So square root of two times square root of two is square root of four. And square root of four is what? Two. So the right side gives you two. So the left side is still one plus tangent square theta. 
So in order to get uh, tangent square theta, we need to move one to the right side. Okay. And if we move one to the right side, it's going to be minus. So tangent square theta is equal to two minus one, which is one. Two minus one is one, right? Now, um, how about contangent square theta? So contangent, contangent square theta is equal to one over tangent square theta. So if, uh, if cos square theta is equal to one over one, which is actually one. Therefore, to get the contangent itself, if you take square root on both sides, so you have square root of cos square theta is equal to square root of one. And square root of one is one. And that, therefore you have cos uh, theta is equal to one. Cos theta is equal to one. Okay. So this is how to manipulate some of this stuff. This is how to manipulate one of some of this stuff. So now as a task for today, I am going to, you are going to use the same set of numbers, but you are going to determine the value of um, which one haven't we done? You are going to determine the value of, hold on, of uh, cosecant. Cosecant is what we need now. So I'm going to leave you to do that by yourself. So now I'm just going to say as a task, determine the value of cosecant theta. That's all. That's all you are doing for the day, for the rest of the day. So, task, determine the cosec theta using, using the above, using the above given data. All right. 